What is good with y'all, man? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your user prepared for Madden 22. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to need to be on Madden 21 next gen. So if you're still on last gen, this video is not going to help you. You might as well just click off of it. But for everyone that is on next gen and getting prepared for 22, um, first let's hit the practice field right. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just come out in whatever defense you want to come out in. It doesn't really matter. The only adjustments we're going to make for practice is just like putting the whole entire defensive line as a spy just so the quarterback doesn't get uh sacked because you just want to you want as much time with your user to just kind of mess around and get a feel for him so i'm going to come out of nickel normal and i'm going to come out of tampa too because that's you know what i run and let's have the ai come out and we're going to have them come out in doubles flex bills bills drive because there's like you know two in routes a little post route there are a lot of crosser stuff so kind of some stuff you probably see in a live game right um so yeah like I said, the only thing we're going to do is put the entire D-line as a spy. And I'm actually going to put both my corners on a hard flat just so, like, we have to play everything, like, to the sidelines and stuff, right? Because you want to get your user right. So, the first thing with your user right, um, you don't want to kind of just hold the sprint button, the turbo button, and, like, run all over the place. Because it's going to kind of fuck up your uh, change of direction. It's going to be a little bit harder. You're probably not going to notice it, but... For anyone that's new on next gen, you'll definitely think like, wow, I kind of move a lot stiffer, but really kind of how you want to do it is you want to move around normally without holding turbo. And then when you want to like kind of go in one direction, like let's say you want to sprint down, you want to sprint all the way to the right, to the left, you want to go all the way back. Once you want to go in like one direction, that's kind of when you want to hold the turbo button. Um, so I'll kind of give you a demonstration here, right? I'm so you see we got we got on the left side is two in routes the right side is a post route i'm gonna play these two in routes right so boom you come over boom see how i start sprinting right there so because that that's how you're gonna be able to lurk things right because it looks like you're not really moving and then boom you start sprinting and you catch up with it immediately right because if you hold if you if you come all the way down to the line let's say let's say because let, what you can't do here is right let's say the tight end or let's say the running back's on the flat and you want to go out there and play that flat row real quick well you're not going to be able to have that get back to go back and play those in routes that are going across the field like how you normally would you're not going to have time so you kind of have to pick and choose what routes you want to play so that's kind of why you know it kind of matters where you put your zones right so let's say the running back's going to be on this flat route to the left right that's why I have a hard flat over there, right? Because the in routes are going to come over there. And realistically, actually, what I would do is the real adjustment I'd probably make for this play is a little something like this. I have a curl flat over there to play those in routes. Then I have a deep blue going all the way back, you know, just because you got to have you gotta have someone going all the way back there. And then I would have that hard flat, like I said, to the left to play the running back on the flat. Cause it, the zones really matter where you put them because your user can't play every single route. So you got to have these zones help you play some routes. Thankfully for me, I've played zone most of the year, so I've, I already, you know, I know how these guys play. I know who's going to do what. And actually, what I really would do here is I'd also probably man that guy up. And this is really how I'd kind of bag the play, but we're talking about the user, right? The point is, you know, if you're playing man, if you're playing zone, you have to, you know, you have to play where you're supposed to play, right? So realistically, we're, we're supposed to be on what? A hook curl like right here? Really, where I would play with my user, I'd play all around this area right here because that db is going to get that uh the guy on curl flat is going to get the sideline so you really only have to play about right here in this chunk right here because he's going on that deep blue to defend that <clears throat> number 14 on that post route so really you have all right here like you have the stuff all underneath that's kind of what you're guarding right here right so and i was putting my user on a blitz because they move a little bit faster so all right and yeah, I mean, it's it's once you get used to it, it's really not that hard, right? See the tight end on that flat, boom, get back, playing all that. Okay, whatever. We're gonna have a hook curl there, but see what I'm saying? Um, the user is really not that bad. Obviously, since you guys are new to this shit, it's gonna be you know a lot harder. But like, you just you want to sprint in burst, right? When you know you're ready and you want to beeline somewhere, like that's where you're going. That's when you want to sprint over there, right? So, like, I could come down and play this flat real quick. I'm not going to sprint or anything. Watch. I'm not going to sprint. I'm not really running that fast because then I can come back, boom, and you kind of bait some of that stuff right there like that. 
You know what I mean? Because it also is about baiting, right? If you beat the guy, there's a lot of people like, they'll be like, oh, I know he's going to go right there, so I'm just going to beat him to the spot. But if you beat him to the spot, sometimes, you know, a guy's still going to throw that ball and then you're going to overrun the route. And he obviously is going to be open because you're he's underneath you and you're over top of him. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I could, I could try to explain it, but I, I don't know if the AI is going to throw it. I'm going to like, I'm going to over route 15's uh, little in route or these little like crosses right around. i'm gonna overrun the fuck out of it right let's see if i get the ai to throw the ball so like let's say oh i know he's gonna be here i'm just gonna overrun it like this see he's open see 15 was open if he throws that ball you're not gonna be able to come back and get there you might be able to like just tackle him right there but he's probably still gonna catch it because guys catch the ball on this shit so yeah that's why you want to you want to play underneath the route right so that's why you want to start out kind of just not full on sprinting because it's gonna it's gonna like it fucks you up right just kind of chill 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 and then boom sprint you know you're playing there with it bam so that's how you want to use basically use the user on next gen you want to it's like strafes I, it's hard to explain like you want to use them in bursts right so you don't you don't start out holding r2 right the sprint button you just you're moving around boom 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 now i want to beeline somewhere oh i want to go right to that sideline boom then you hold sprint you know what i mean that's because because once you're committed to a route that's that right once you're committed to a route you know if you're, if you're like oh i'm coming down playing this drag that's it you're playing that drag right if there's an in route coming coming over the back you're fucked he's gonna throw it you know what i mean um you and it makes sense because i mean that's real football once a guy commits to a route that's that you know what i mean so yeah that's i feel hopefully that got it kind of uh gave you guys a little bit of an explanation knowledge something to help you guys with your users i know some people are saying the user's impossible i the user's not bad and actually the user's going to be a little bit faster on madden 22 it's going to be a tad bit faster so yeah you know if you're doing this shit now man 21 next gen by the time madden 22 comes you're, you're gonna have a god like user like i know me a lot of guys who haven't played next gen they think they're just gonna come on man 22 and you know everything's gonna be fine but it's really not so that, those guys are gonna be fucked so you, you do this shit now you get a head start you guys are gonna be a lot better than a lot of guys on man 22 so i definitely recommend just playing the game right like i said you can come out and practice just put your whole d line on a spy and just you know pick a lot pick different place for the ai to be on and just kind of you know cover it get get used to it with your users so once you get into a game you know what i mean you get used to it and it's not like it doesn't feel like brand new to you so that's basically it though boys uh like comment subscribe man i also stream on twitch if you guys want to drop me a follow over there the link to that is in the description uh we stream pretty much every night obviously it's a little bit harder here in late july because madden 21 is dead as hell but you know i still try to here and there so uh that's pretty much it gonna do it though boys your boy is out